The U.S. says there has been an acceleration in that build-up of troops along Ukraine's borders. And in the words of the National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, we are now in the window. So what the U.S. had been saying was that they didn't think that Russia would launch any kind of invasion while the Olympic Games were going on, the Winter Olympics, they thought that he wouldn't want to overshadow President Xi's event there. What they're now saying is that they think that an invasion could come as early as this week, or in other words, any day now. Now, officials won't comment on the record about reports that they have intelligence that Wednesday might be a possible day for an invasion, but they're certainly taking action, as you mentioned, taking people out of the embassy, as Australia is doing in Kiev. Um, they're also urging, uh, again, as Australia is also doing, all citizens to leave the country now. They're telling them there will be no um, military evacu evacuation. They've got to get out of the country on their own steam. And the U.S. has also moved about 160 troops out of Ukraine. Uh, the Defence Secretary Lloyd Austin said that he was doing that out of an abundance of caution. These were troops who were training Ukrainian forces. They have now been moved out of the country. And the U.S. at the same time uh, is sending another few thousand uh, into Eastern Europe along uh, NATO's eastern flank as these warnings really ratchet up uh, over the past 48 hours from Washington. We saw over the weekend that President Vladimir Zelensky of Ukraine was frustrated by the U.S. putting out these warnings of a possible imminent invasion. He said that panic would only help Ukraine's enemies, uh, and he clearly wasn't too happy with that. What we did hear from the White House was that uh, President Biden told his Ukrainian counterpart that the U.S. and its allies would respond swiftly and decisively to any further Russian aggression against Ukraine. And we also heard that the two men agreed to pursue a path of diplomacy and deterrence. Now, this has been the U.S. approach all along, that while they say that they are interested uh, in a diplomatic path forward, and we saw the U.S. president also calling over the weekend uh, Vladimir Putin, that call didn't uh, result in any breakthrough. But at the same time, uh, there's this path of deterrence. And those are the warnings of severe consequences over Russian invasion, in particular in a package of economic sanctions that the U.S. says um, that it would introduce uh, with its partners and allies in the event of that Russian invasion. So not much from the readout of the call between the two leaders, but clearly some tension there between the U.S. and Ukraine over the messaging about this possible invasion by Russia.